All right, guys, so first thing is we have our commitment packets due on October 29th. I looked the other day and not that many people have done it, and these need to be in in order for you guys to be in city government. So please get that in by October 29th. You can just open it up in Kami in uh, Google Classroom and just fill it up. It takes like 15, 20 minutes max, so just trying to get that done wherever you can within the next week. Anyone have any questions with that? Anyone? All right, cool. And so the next thing, we have our first town hall on November 12th. For anyone who doesn't know what a town hall is, Mr. Bernhardt's gonna be coming here. We're gonna be submitting questions beforehand. So I'm gonna post a survey probably tonight and you guys can ask any questions that you want us to ask Mr. Bernhardt. So it usually goes for like an hour and he, you can ask anything about the school, bathrooms, COVID protocols, literally anything and he'll just answer it. Anyone have any questions about that? Anyone? Anyone virtually have any questions about that? Well, we'll tell them how we're going to, uh, you know, take all the questions and categorize them. Like, so. Yeah. So we're also going to be categorizing all the questions. So, like, we'll have, like, normally, we normally start with, like, bathroom questions and, like, library questions. But this year will probably be, we'll, like, group them into, like, categories, like, COVID protocols, like, bathroom, library. Uh, places you can eat. We'll just categorize them and yeah. And so the big thing for today is, do you guys remember, do you guys watch last week's video and like about like spirit, spirit day, how like the last Friday of the first week of, of each month, we're gonna do like a spirit day. You guys all got that? All right, so we're gonna take suggestions for what our first spirit day should be. And then next week we're gonna do a survey and we can all vote on it, see which one wins for the first week. Yeah. If you guys have any suggestions, please type in the chat. And when so, are we going to do the spirit days? Uh, it's the first, the first, the first Friday of each month will be the spirit day. So, does anyone have any suggestions to start off? Anything? What should be our first one? Um, Jersey day. Jersey day. Jack. Jersey food day. Can you like elaborate on that? <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like, I like it. <laughs> and it's timely. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? I'm thinking uh, superhero day. What do you think, guys? What should be the first one? I think I think it was pretty unanimous. <laughs> you think everybody wanted Thanksgiving food day? Yeah. Okay, guys, we need a couple more. Anything. It could be from like Mine, subject. Halloween candy day. All right. Dress up like your favorite Halloween candy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be after Halloween. Yeah, it's gonna be what's the first Friday? It's the like candy day. November. Yeah, sixth of November. Color wars with the green, so soft wars wear green. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know for yeah. Okay, I think we were planning on doing that. Anyone have anything else? Nothing. Board members. Anyone virtually? You can just type in the chat if you don't want to say it out loud. Let me try and think. So what we could do is put those few, we'll, put, we'll do a vote. Yeah. And see what, what you guys want to do. So we got what? Thanksgiving food day. Mm, Thanksgiving food day. Jersey. Jersey Day, Halloween candy day, sports day. Oh yeah. So I also saw I scrolled through a bunch of the um, suggestions for spirit day that you guys had for spirit week when we originally did it like a couple weeks ago for the survey. And I saw a bunch of you guys put down like mean day. If anyone who put down mean day can like explain to me what that is, that'd be like awesome. Like I'm a little confused. Anyone put that down? No? <laughs> All right. I think I can like try. Okay. Um I didn't put it down, but I've seen other schools just like, um, like you know that road sign one that's like road ahead, I mean it's road work ahead, like that's the only thing I can think of. Like you wear like an orange to look like the sign. Like I feel like that's what people are thinking. I don't really know. Okay. Yeah. Obviously that's true. Okay. Yeah, we can also add that too. Do you guys think that's a good, like a good one? Meme day?
You have to explain it though. Like you have yeah. to tell people what it meant. Yeah, we probably all, we probably have to spread the word about what it is. So like everyone knows. Like I know a, a couple people were like confused on like decades day. So if you guys are, like if anyone ever asks you like in the hallways like about like something with student government, just like try to be like informed about like what's going on so you can like communicate it to them. Oh yeah, I forgot to say the the town hall is gonna be on November twelfth. It's gonna be a Thursday. So it's gonna happen during our normal meeting to piggyback on what happened before. And it's also going to be open to the whole student body, but not in person. The only people that will be here in person are student government members. And it will be basically whoever was scheduled to be here that day mm. will be here. Um, and then we'll record the meeting like we did uh, last year. If you remember, we did town hall, when was it, May, April, something like that last year. Um, so we will record the meeting and then post it so that the rest of the building can see it anybody that's not in student government so it's not only a student government thing uh but this is in keeping with our leadership of the building to try and get um you know questions answered so um maybe tell them about the deadline yeah what did we say it was going to be the, the front sixth, sixth? Mm -hmm. yeah so the, the deadline for submitting questions is going to be the sixth so if you submit questions after that, we're not going to see it because I'm going to be viewing it that weekend. So make sure you get your questions in by then. Did you also say that it's going to be on the individual classrooms? Yes. So yes. That, all right, cool. Yeah, so you, you can fill it out either on the student government Google Classroom. It's also going to be on like the individual like class Google Classroom, so like the class of 2022. And I'll probably put it on student government first because we're waiting for the – I don't want to post it until we have the poster. Okay. So, yeah. so that because other kids won't know what we're talking about. Okay. So I'll probably wait to this weekend to post. I'm not sure. Emma, when's the do you know when the post can be done? All right, perfect. So we'll I'll post it over post the weekend. Beginning of next week. Yeah. Beginning okay. of next weekend. Yeah. Just try to fill it out whenever you can. Any suggestions would be awesome. Uh make sure to like spread the word about it so we can get a bunch of questions to Mr. Bernhardt. Great. And uh should we move on to the next thing? All right, so next thing is going to be staff spotlight. We're going to reiterate some stuff. Riley's going to come talk about it. All right. Hi, everyone. Hi. So um, later today, for those of you who are virtual, virtual learners or chose to do this club virtually, I'm posting on Google Classroom an assignment. So you'll go to the Classwork tab. And then under there, there's a spot that'll say Staff Spotlight, and you can submit the doc of your interview. This way, you'll still get the four amount of points for it. You're allowed to do two, two interviews. So, you know, definitely a great way to earn points. And for anyone else who's in person, definitely keep those Staff Spotlight interviews coming. It could be with anyone in the building. It doesn't just have to be a teacher. And it's a great way to earn points. I know a lot of you have been wondering how you can you know, do student government things outside of meetings. So definitely take advantage of this opportunity. I know um, Jen Ripa, I don't, she's not here today, but if she's watching, she did a great one on a security guard, Mr. Bell. It was awesome. So yeah, oh, and also with the town halls, I just wanted to reiterate what Jesse said. The town halls are a great way to kind of express your concerns of our school. I know a lot of you have been wondering, um, you know, maybe some of you feel unsafe for something for Corona or you think something should be changed. I know a lot of people are curious about if we're going to be using our locker soon. This is your chance to explain that to him. You know, you can ask all your questions at the town hall. So definitely be publicizing that, express that to your friends. Um, so, yeah, we really got to take advantage of that. Thank you. So, like, Riley. Like Riley said, the staff spotlight is a great opportunity for points. It's going to be pretty fun. Like, I know a bunch of people were asking me, we like, joined late. Like, how can I get 15 points for good standing for the first meeting? Like, for, like, my brother, for example, you should probably do it. Because it's a – the first quarter is ending soon, and it's a good opportunity to get a lot of points fast. So, like, if I did two, you can get eight points right, right away. So, it's a good opportunity. And so, next up, I just want to clarify some things on Google Classroom. So, I saw a bunch of you guys – I saw a bunch of you guys, when you guys submit like the discussion questions when you attend virtually, you guys are submitting it like in the private comment section, which like if you guys do that, we're not gonna be able to see it and give you credit for the meeting. So when you guys answer the question, we need you guys to submit it like through the assignment in like the upper right corner. 
So like, you just gotta type your answer in there, not in the private comments, just to reiterate that. And also I keep seeing that people are submitting the uh, question late and turning in late. And for a lot of them, like you guys aren't gonna be getting credit for it because I know like the board members, like even I do, we check Tuesday morning, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning for the attendance of the week. And if you submit it late, we're not gonna be able to see it. So please make sure you get it in by Monday night. And also this week as a board, we're gonna be going through all your suggestions for virtual events. And if we have any good ones, we're gonna talk, oh, I'm sure we had good ones. We're gonna talk about it next meeting, like all your guys' suggestions and get everyone's opinion on it. Does anyone have any, did anyone come with any virtual events today? Like any ideas? You were attended virtually last week and didn't wanna speak about it. Anyone? We had some good ideas last week. Anything that you can think of. Stuff that we can do as a group to get school spirit going in the building, to, to get engagement of the students and staff. Any, any fundraisers? Um, this isn't virtual, but it's just something. Yeah. I know Flyers, the club is doing the door decorating, I think it is, instead of Trick or Treat Street. It's Key Club. Oh, Key Club. Club. OK. <laughs> but I think other clubs are doing that because, like, on the players' classroom, they posted it. I don't know. Like, everyone's everyone's available to do it. Just when you actually go to, if like you guys wanted to decorate the student government door, you would have it only could be a couple of students. Okay. It can't be many students doing it. So we intended to do a donation for it from student government, but. Um, one of the rules is that you cannot have many students actually doing it at once because you can't have crowded and it's a door. Yeah. Also, if you want to do it with your friends, like if you sign up for it, separate from the club, so if you and three friends only sign up for that good one, all you have to do is take these up to $20 and you're automatically connected to get to sign up for these over. And then I think there's going to be a prize. Right now, it's going to be a gift card or something like that. Anyone else have any like other any ideas like fundraisers? It could be anything. Nothing. Anyone virtually have any ideas? If you guys are afraid to like unbeat yourself and speak, you guys can just leave it in the comments. Um, if there's anyone that wants to decorate my classroom door, yes. I'm all for it. Mine too. You can sign up to decorate mine. Yes. Just that. So we've got. Three. You're like really down for decorating. We've got three of these. Three classroom doors and the student government door. So we have four different doors. An idea, so I'm very bad at thinking of ideas. Oh, I'm terrible. I can help you. Okay. I have an idea. Yeah, I'm not going to dictate them. Oh, Anyone? she did a good job last year, Mrs. Zegger. I have an idea. And got oh, robbed oh, again. Excuse me. Hello, what about my door last year? Yes, it was good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's pretty good. Mine's had a fireplace. Oh, yeah. Come it's on. really good. Stop. And mine was like, Non-existent. <laughs> is the Yankee theme? The Yankees? Yeah, I can do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Definitely. No, we can't do that in class. Alas. Oh. But yeah, if you want to use any good, of good our, show, you know, the student government job plus all three. How many students can we do? Four? I don't. I don't remember what the rule. What was it? What was the rule? Two at a time. So two, four, six. That's six. Eight. Eight. Oh, eight. Right. Yeah. Six, Do you want to eight. talk about that? No? After this? Should I ask you how you do it right for this and next game? So if anyone's interested, let's see, let's see Jesse. Okay. Eight students could do it. Okay. Anyone interested in seeing me go? Jack was just saying that we will look at the rules, but he was saying he thinks more students are allowed to be inside the classroom, like organizing decorations. Oh. But that only means you can be outside. Now, Jack could have very well made that up on the spot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Jack, that's a possibility. But Do we have the, I don't want to. I don't have the email in front of us. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay, one last. So we'll put it up on classroom if you're interested. We'll just have a little okay. sign up or something. Yeah. We can post on classroom, or just if you if you want to just come speak. Yeah, to just come speak after. to us and and we'll figure it out. Put it in the chat. Yeah. Put it in the chat. <laughs> all right. One last thing before we all leave. 
um, at the board meeting on Tuesday, we, the executive board, we were discussing this, another idea to get points. So basically, you know those mini pumpkins you get at like, not the big ones, but mini ones? All right, I'm seeing a few head nods. You can decorate those with markers or paper, paint, whatever you have at home. And then we got permission from Emma Clark Library, our community library, to bring them and then put them in their garden. And it'd be worth a lot of points if you decorated a pumpkin. Um, you, this would have to be done at home. Um, how, mu how many points? Like six? Um, um, you can do like five, but you got to make sure. Like, it has yeah. to be done by a certain date. Okay. So it has to be by like next meeting. But did, did you say it has to be um, delivered? Like, yeah. So with the, um, the library and Mrs. Canestro, these aren't our restrictions. It's just what the school wants. We wouldn't be able to collect the pumpkins in school. So let's say you went home this weekend and made one. You decorated it as a witch or something. You would then have to bring it to the allotted time time period that the library allows us to go. You'd have to bring it to the library and then drop it off with one of us. Like one of the board members will be there, and you'll get the five points for it, and all will be good. <laughs> yep. Not to be caught. They have to be yeah oh that's another thing they can't be carved because the library doesn't want deer and animals coming it has to be painted or with markers and it doesn't have to be halloween decorated it could just be like you know a funny face with googly eyes or something basically any supplies you have at home would work as long as it's nicely decorated and festive so we just want to we just want to know who would actually be interested in doing this because we don't want to do it and get like five people like doing pumpkins so like if you guys like don't want to do it like now, like you guys think it's like too close to Halloween, you're not gonna be able to get done within the next week. We can do something very similar for like Thanksgiving. So like I want your guys' opinions. Like would anyone here like be interested in actually doing this? Jack, yeah, cool. Oh, also, okay. we can do it. There is interest. <laughs> I like the interest. So if you would be interested in doing this for Halloween, we would have to have the pumpkins delivered to the library Monday or Tuesday. Uh, the library is going to get back to us about what time works for them. So, you know, this weekend and those days after school, the pumpkins would have to be done. But if that's, you know, too short for anyone and people want more time, we could always do this project for Thanksgiving because pumpkins are still kind of a fall theme, not just Halloween. So what we're asking, would you guys rather do this for Halloween or for Thanksgiving? How many say Halloween? Raise your hand for Halloween. And everyone else can write in the chat. You can unmute. People say yes. Probably be easy to get the following. Yeah, there's, there's probably yeah. more pumpkins. Yeah. You know? Oh, wait. Sorry. So is it this Monday or the one after? So why don't you put up a, we can put up a Google Doc. Okay. No, yeah. I'll, I'll write a Google Doc and put it up um, today or tomorrow. I'll probably do it tonight about you know, where you can buy the pumpkins. Right now at Stop and Shop, the mini ones are $5. And then if you go to Aldi's, they're only $2. I mean like a Google Doc where they sign up if they're going oh, to Oh, okay. Them. Yeah. Yeah, so just be checking the Google Classroom for all those here and virtual, because we'll put more directions on that later tonight. So just, you know, before you go to bed after your homework, just tune back into that. So I just wanted to go over two more things before we leave. It's gonna be really quick. So um, I know a lot of people who are attending in person. It happened like it's like five or six people like wanted to switch to virtual. So if you're gonna do that, please tell me that you guys aren't gonna be attending in person anymore. It's totally fine if you want to switch to virtual, but just please let us know. And also moving forward, like it seems like like this meeting and the last meeting, we're only getting like probably like 20, 30 members from like each group. So I'm gonna, we're gonna see how the attendance is next meeting and we're gonna talk at our next board meeting. But we might just do like student government like in person every week instead of doing like hybrid, virtual and in person because it seems like we're gonna have enough room to fit everyone. And that would mean that there'd still be the virtual piece, yep. but that anyone who was in person would be coming each week rather than every other week. Yep. And also, I wanted to open it up to you guys if you guys had any questions about what's, like, what's going on in Google Classroom, need any clarification with anything. Because I know a bunch of people are coming up to me and asking me like, in my classes, so it would be a good opportunity now. Just ask some questions. And I'm sure if you ask a question, someone else probably has the exact same question. So, anyone? Anyone virtually have any questions before we end the meeting? They're good. Good? All right, guys.
the, the meeting is over. Could you guys, when you guys exit, please make sure you are staying socially distanced and make sure you fill out or check Google Classroom right through this weekend because there's going to be a lot of stuff posting. All right, see you guys. And pushing your chair. And pushing your chair.